something like a Ying at that point. It's the more standard one, and honestly, Ying on bank is pretty devastating. But instead, they're going to take out a Mav. This Which might be an anticipation of a Hibana ban from Liquid. Technically, they banned Hungary because Maverick, like Maverick and Hungary, they look literally the same thing. They do look a lot alike. And Nomad. There goes the Nomad. Okay. That's Liquid that removes it. Oddly enough. Mm hmm. I think I think the Maverick ban caught them off bar guard. I think the Hibana ban was going to come out from Team Liquid, and then they didn't want to remove both Two hard, hard breach. breachers, so That's they wanted to sense. keep uh, Hibana and Thermite in. The Kayad gets banned out as well, so you still have Nomad. Hatches get opened quite easily, so the downstairs play might be a little difficult. Uh, we lose both Wind Bastion operators, and as far as the last defender, I'd probably say Mira. Yeah, Mira, Maestro, Echo, and it's Mira. There yeah. So both Ma Maestro and Echo will be available. Oh man, you give that to Liquid? It's pretty balanced, honestly. Because you have both hard breachers or both standard hard breachers available in Hibana and Thermite, and there's no hatch uh, denial inside of Kaid, but you only have a, a Mira taken out of the equation as far as your like plant delay and plant denial. Uh, you have, like you said, the Maestro and the Echo at your availability, but it looks like we're going downstairs with a very fast lineup from INTZ. Why? Okay, so I understand the Valkyrie, I understand the Pulse, I understand the Smoke, the Jaeger as well, the Castle. There we the go. Might, there. Thank you. That was my oh, fine. that was my quizzical one right there. But you need some Castle. The Castle was to try to fake out another site, right? Another castle for me just scream CEO. Uh huh. Wonder if it screamed the same thing to Liquid. Possibly. Liquid's lineup as well. Still well equipped to handle the task here of attack oh, yeah. downstairs, even if they are caught off guard. They bring both the Thermite and the Habana, so expect a lot of reinforcements to get opened up, hatches and walls. Uh, you've got Nest to stun lock for Nitros coming through. You've got the Asphyxiating Bolts to stop rushes in behind the CCTV desk. And you've got Paula for the roam clear with smokes in hand as well. You've got redundancy between PSK and Paula on the smokes. It's a very well equipped lineup here for Team Liquid to try and... Uh, Devastate this defense from INTZ. Yeah, obviously the big bonus that INTZ has is not only having the Maestro, but also having the Pulse. It's just, when you see the Pulse on this side, like, please don't play super aggressive. <laughs> I love the furry skin on the smoke. But a rainbow is magic. <laughs> it actually is pretty fun, I have to say. It was a fun playlist. Mm -hmm. It's going to be up until uh, next week, so... Yep. I haven't played it yet. There's time to. You haven't tried to save Mr. Bear yet. Get on it. But like you said, you ah. don't want the pulse playing to aggro. He's on the server stairs right now with intact on the shotgun playing point blank. This is a very common play strategy with the two ADSs at the top of the stairs. But what do you do? The instant there's somebody tagging the skylight hatch, you just fall back. You get the hell out of it. You I just, would hope so. Yeah, well... <laughs> I completely agree. Bora's going to be scanning around to give Intact that information. I love the combo. INTZ have, if their communication is set correctly, this can actually do quite a bit of work to Liquid. I really like the way this is set up. In theory, it should work well, but how is the practice when it comes to comms? And no, Bora's just going to fall back and leave Intact um, by the blue stairs. So, a minute is already gone, and... Uh, scanning around, Li Liquid will just make sure that there's nobody roaming around the map, and it's, it's a pretty important thing to do here on uh, Bank, just to be sure there's nobody who's going to blindside you later on in the round. Looks like Yuke is inching closer and closer to pushing up these south stairs. The drones from PSK will keep them at bay momentarily. Nask also holding the main stairs religiously, never really backing off. You've also got the server stairs held from above, Paula with a shotgun, so this is good. Good anticipation from Team Liquid of INTZ trying to get a little aggressive. And honestly, even if Intact goes down, yes, you lose a lot of utility, but you've burnt a lot of time just being on those server stairs and the presence being known. And you've also got drunks with both Evil Eyes and the Alda with two Nitro Cells and you can bore. This is still doable, although PSK is going to be droning out bore right now at that server hatch. Paula is going to go in for the kill here, although the Cardiac Sensor will be relaying the same information on the opposite end. Now he'll retreat to the server stairs. One toxic babe used to try and repel the ingress in towards the top of those stairs. But again, you're losing a lot of utility on the stairs here, and Liquid are going to have to go for a full push. Look at the amount of time left. There's not a lot here for Liquid to maneuver around. They haven't had any sort of setup in around the site. Not even burned out the ADSs, and that's the big deal. The rotation from the Zofia is really going to help things. A lot of damage has been done to both Duds and Boar. 
ADSs are still up, but Paula's just going to push to the site. They can lock this down if Boro find the kill on Paula. And Capitao is unable to burn away the smoke here. A quick peek from Intact just to get info, but nobody's pushing him. The, the site has been taken control now by the attackers, and it's all clear. Gonna try to fire in as they just walk right past the defenders. Boar somehow unable to find the shot. He'll peek for one quick one on PSK. The fuser not being set. Zig will have to go for it, but there's so little time. Boar will give the information, go for the defuser plant, and bam, a quick top off from Boar will finish things off. Liquid kind of um, stalled for so long. They're like, you know what, guys? Let's just let's just walk into the site, and they walked in, <laughs> and they forgot that there were still players in server. A uh, good counter strat there from Liquid to identify that the site was actually the weak point, which is never really the, the prototypical setup for a defensive hold, especially downstairs on CCTV lockers. But beautiful shots being hit from INTZ on the retake. That's kind of what it comes down to, is if they don't hit those shots coming in on like quick peeks through the door frame, and that's, that's a disaster laying in wait for INTZ to try and recover from on a retake, but... They hit their shots, and that's kind of what it came down to. The strategy was well-placed as well. Like you said, the time management for Liquid, not quite there. They need to ramp up the pace a little bit. Sexy K going to be six picking off of the Habana to a Zofia as we head to, again, staff it. <laughs> hey, staff room, open area. INTZ do sure love this site. They're going to have Bore on the Clash instead of uh, bringing the, the Kaid, which they brought heavily against Pain. Mm -hmm. They defended this site. Uh, the castle as well from Drunks will help slow things down, but you've got Nesk swapping off over to a sledge, and you've got Sexy Cake with the lifeline. It's a uh, it's a good spot to be in as far as soft destruction goes, and hopefully Liquid can pick up the pace in this round. Especially the fact that the cut's unavailable in in the matchup. It, it's something that, as you, as you mentioned, um, they, they kind of relied on very heavily before and we just hope that it's not going to be the same. But having the Clash is actually a pretty big deal here because there's walkways, like the window, etc. that you can really lock down. And once this gets to the late round, where there's little manpower, usually, where the attackers have to kind of run through the elevator or run past the elevators to enter into the open area, the Clash just sitting in front of them is just going to be a huge pain in the rear. You can see a lot of reinforcements still going up over towards Tellers and Archives, and that's indicative of the strat that INTZ repeatedly pulled on this site the last time they played Pain on it, which was, you're basically playing from Tellers Archives, you're playing extreme horizontal because the verticality on this, when you have hatches reinforced, there's no way to fall back, and if you leave the hatches open, then it's a, it's a tough time on the retake as well. I think that's just client side. Yes, I usually, really hope so. Usually you one hit those and there's never any issues with them having uh, destruction issues. And you've got a Valkyrie cam placed nicely inside a stock. You've got Yuke consistently yellow pinging to try and spot a, uh, a perfect placement for that Nitro Cell. Looks like he's still finicky. Doesn't really know where he wants to uh, wants to place that down just yet. And he can see the visibility of Zig now coming into the stock hallway in tandem with Paula. And oh, Nitro Cell being placed right beside the hatch. That will detonate and it will claim the life of Zig. There goes your Thermite inside of stock ahead of themselves there, Team Liquid, and there goes your only hard breacher. Yeah, a pretty good play there with the uh, Valkyrie. It all depends now on how the reinforcements have been set by INTZ. If they're pretty standard setups with the walls on uh, Skylight being reinforced, you're going to have a bad time because your only rotation is not going to be from, from 90, from the, the elevator hallway, and from the Skylight. And in both cases, you'll have to deal with a clash or with just multiple rifles pointed at you. It's definitely not a good position to be in, and the utility is already being used by Liquid to kind of open up as many alleyways as possible and as many look down into archives as they can. Eliminating the Clash would be huge, but a Clash of Shield being slanted at the top is going to protect her from shots at least uh, more than you'd, you'd expect from shots from above. The Clash will rotate back into the open area and stick close to the teammates here. It's a good response there from Liquid identifying that 
with no hard breacher, they can't really push for verticality, so they're looking to dismantle the far side roam, and that's exactly what they've done. They've forced INTZ back to the objective, trapped them in a box, and there goes that castle barrack into the double door into kitchen. The toxic babe in retaliation from Intact will slow them down momentarily. That was the last one he had, and now he'll look to peek out with a shotgun point blank, and he's got three lined up, but Paula will claim his life. Now a Russian from Liquid has three members all descending behind that kitchen counter. The plant going down in the midst of smoke from Paula as Nesk will cover for any peaks coming out, but Yuk wins out a great engagement against PSK. Here goes the Capitao, and Paula looking the wrong direction will get decapitated again by Yuk. Does trying to angle in, and a flank from server stairs caught up now by Nesk playing prone in behind that island inside of Kitchen. Drunks has been down at the top of server stairs, but now it's Sexy Cake left alone in a technical 1v2. Hearing another one flank in front of him. Sexy Cake will claim the life of Duds, but now it's the Clash, and Sexy Cake is on 5 HP. Whipping out the machine pistol is Boar, and he'll retreat back to the diffuser. He might even try and stick this now at the shield on his backside. Still holding it down, and Sexy Cake is going to have to turn the corner. Oh! oh! Beautiful timing from Sexy Cake as Boar tried to fake it out and turn with the machine pistol in hand. Beautifully played in a 1v2 there for Sexy Cake and Team Liquid will equalize. One thing, I want someone to clip this and just to show the downed kill was a headshot down. It had it had the it had the kill like uh, you know post post round yeah. post mortem, and it also had a headshot symbol next to it. I'm like, wait a second, Hangu didn't get what he wants just yet. <laughs> Oh boy, let's not touch that with a 10 football. I think 10 meters is what's required in this situation. Yeah. All right. With that said, where will we head? Scientist said, archives and tellers. Go for the setup. Pretty standard. I love the way that they just shotgun the bottom side of the. Um, the towers. It's it's a great thing to do. It's just, actually, it, it really hampers the attackers in more ways than one. It, in my opinion, if if you're asking me for recommendations on how to run strats, even in your standard games, do not reinforce the wall between the stairs and the entry into the towers. Shotgun the bottom, and you'll have a great old time. Just like. That. Same lineup coming out again for Team Liquid as they again have the six pick off of the uh, off the Hibana from Sexy Kick onto the Zofia, so Activating they're camera. revealing the fact that they're bringing the Sledge. And Nesk was instrumental in being able to dismantle the uh, the castle barricade fortress that was set up around the objective for INTZ for staff room and open area. Now it's a brand new round. It's a brand new site. Teller's Archives will be the third site in three rounds for INTZ to play. They don't really want to go for a repeat. Even after taking out Zig, the Hard Breacher for Liquid, still not enough to uh, to net them the round. Beautiful individual effort there. And more cameras being placed with Nitro Cell. Oh, Yuke. He's going to ping out his own Nitro Cell on the floor again, trying to play from below with that information. Wait for anyone to walk into his nice little trap he has set up, and he's not going to be able to recover that unless he shoots out the, f the ceiling nope. and has it fall back down towards him. So it'll, it'll give away his position, and Yuke's been, uh, Yuke's been going for this every round, honestly. He was trying to go for it in the first round as well at the server hatch. Mm -hmm. and like how he's been pinging himself throughout the whole time, it just means that you can kind of be more accurate with the way that you use your C4. Paul will take a bit of damage here, not too sure from what. The C4 is still up, so we can guarantee that it's not the C4. It'll be a shotgun shell from below. Where my charge will open up the hatch in open area, forcing the Jaeger back. Legion still sticking to his elevator. C4 will not connect from intact, and Yoke had already used his. So that's two Nitro cells that have had zero impact with the way that Aintis that are setting up here. The whole strategy was to use those C4s, and they're just gone for nothing. Mark the similarity to accelerate in North America with their reliance on the nitro cells at range. A frag grenade will now get launched down as Boar has dropped to about 10 HP, and he'll be downed on the square stairs, and someone will collect that shortly for liquid. It'll be Zig with the pistol in hand. So now you've got Duds flanking underneath from the kitchen doorway under the square balcony. Yuke is flexed out into main lobby, as they're well aware of the positioning of one member on the north lobby windows, trying to line up the headshot, but no! Sexy Cake will hit the deck and evade in a moment's notice. 
So now you've got Dud still holding down top square and really the lone survivor and trying to stall out this aggression coming from the top of the stairwell. ESK will take half damage, but he'll win it out with about 10 remaining. Ness tacks on, Yuke will fall. So now Intact flustered downstairs inside of the main hallway. will try to prone his way back into sight as Drunks is flanking through open area. Zig alone with the diffuser. Oh, Nesk wins that out again onto Intact. A good trade there onto Paula from Drunks. But now up to the floor, Nesk continues to have dominance with that SMG-11. And Liquid put another round in the back pocket. Then you know, take the lead up to one. Respect your OGs, and that's definitely what Nesk is in this uh, in this matchup. But in general, Team Liquid, the big advantage in the round. It kind of just spirals out of control for INTZ. And you're not really surprised. Like, okay, you used your utility, your nitro cells, you got nothing out of it. Uh, you're not going to be able to do much as the round progresses. Just because you did not set up your defense to have any roamers on the top floor or playing the stairs. And because of that, well, your Jaeger on his own is not going to be able to do much. And unfortunate, because there were three operators that he fired upon and got close to killing. None of them dead, just barely tapped. So, Drunks this time will six pick off of an Echo into a Maestro, which is a different form of plant denial, and information gathering. So, identical roster lineup coming out for INTZ as they return to the basement, a site they were successful on thanks to the inefficient time management on the side of Team Liquid and honestly a sight rush that was shut down by beautiful shots being hit by INTZ on their retake. So Team Like Wood will look to pick up the pace a little bit in this round specifically. Hopefully clear out this server hold a little bit faster. They could have had someone come in through the dirt tunnel. It seemed like INTZ weren't really prepared for that kind of situation where someone will come up from behind them down below as they were extremely focused with the pressure being applied from the top side. Sexy Cake will stick onto the Habana this time, but Paula will head over to an IQ. So we finally see another operator coming into the fold here for Liquid on the attacking side. I imagine that was in response to the Echo being shown in yep. reveal phase, but the Echo will be six picked off of. So now your biggest identification for IQ for Paula in this round should be the Valkyrie cameras and Boar. Where he is, where his positioning is with that cardiac sensor, and you can do it at much further range. You can see the pulse much further than the pulse can see the IQ. Mm -hmm. 20 meters, this was not mentioned anywhere, but this was at a back like five months ago, yep. where the changes were reverted from 15 to 20 meters on the AQ, which is great. I mean, I don't know. It, it took a while for kind of people to figure it out. Um, but there you go. Everybody evacs out of the site. Boar is playing far away with the position that we saw him before, close up to Intact on the smoke. So Intact's going to be playing solo here. Should have someone supporting him behind um, if he's playing in the servers. Usually we saw Dutch playing that, actually, the Jaeger before. Apollo running, running the uh, AUG, which is not always the greatest gun to use because it takes up like most of your screen. Otherwise, eh, it's not too shabby. The breaching charge is pretty good. This basically is just to shut down intact, should he choose to pick around the corner. So the double ADS set up. Oh, big peek out there from intact. Just trying to grab some intel and Paula unable to land a shot. Never had visibility on a head, so it couldn't have been an easy kill, but he at least could have chipped away at the health of the smoke, who's again being a nuisance inside of that server stairwell. We've eclipsed the midway point in the round, and once again, we stand at a 5v5 stalemate. Not a lot of progression being made. Almost the same position here for Team Liquid. Dud's looking up through that server hatch as well to try and catch anyone pushing in towards his teammate of intact. Really, the linchpin in this progression again is on top of the server stairs. The flashbangs ring out, and looks like they've been able to disable the ADSs at the top of the stairs. So now it's intact with his shotgun and his Toxic Babes alone to try and win this out. You know, it's going to hold on to the same angle. A minute left on the clock. More than enough here for the attacking side to really do work. The last gas tank, gas tank is going to get used. Boar's Nitro Cell already expended. So Yook's the only one with anything to use in a situation like this. And I'm just watching any drops from the hatch, Duds will fall back. So, oh, the defense will give away the servers, but Intact is still there. He fights for more, that's two kills for him. Liquid don't seem to be ready for this. Zig will find one as he runs into the Capital Crossbow Bolt. Barely alive in here, singed a bit. A yoke in the back. Here, the Thermite opening up the wall, Nitro Cell being set. Bora giving out information. Not a lot of time. The push has to happen from Liquid, and they need to make sure they get as close to that bomb and to the reinforced wall as they can. The C4 being 
Throwing up, no, but Yook is ready. Oh, he chucks it right into the Capitao. Loses his life for it. Boar with a refrag drunks with another one. All up to Zig, low on HP, and they're all gonna rush him. A final kill comes in for Boar. And round number four will go the way of INTZ. It seems like the highly defense favored sites are being won by the defense. Thinking. Funny that. Uh, on that round for Liquid, again, it, it's intact for INTZ really being the MVP, and Liquid's inability to clear him out. Um, we saw actually it was uh, was PSK who sent down that asphyxiating bolt to cut off the exit for intact. Um, honestly, if you've got the ADSs cleared, your better bet, honestly, is to clear him out, to push him down those stairs because you have the server hatch open. Yeah. Don't cut off his exit because then he's just going to play point blank with the shotgun and rip through you like he did there for two kills. I'd much rather put the asphyxiating bolt at the top of the stairs, flashbang in, and then keep pushing him down further and further because his only escape is down the bottom of those stairs. If you keep him away from the top, he can't play as close range with that shotgun. Again, Liquid, they, they picked up the pace a little bit. Like you said, they had about a minute to work with when it all came down to pushing into the server hatch, uh, or sorry, into server and through the server stairs. Mm -hmm. Just again, intact, playing beautifully with that shotgun on the top of the stairs is really being a thorn in the side of Liquid. So again, we draw even at 2-2, two -two, and we head to CEO. So we'll see INTZ defend all four bomb sites on bank, similar to what they did against Pain. Yep, losing two of them, or losing, yeah. It's something, but no one has picked up the the rook armor just yet. Please do that. Don't just bring the rook for. Are you actually gonna do this? You're gonna drive me up the wall. Please don't. Yeah. Okay, guys, you didn't take it. Yes, thank you very much. The alarm bells are ringing. I don't know why it, it pains me so much. I know it's. I mean, it's wasted utility, right? Yes, literally the the ability of your operator. But there you go. With with that said, my heart is now content, ladies and gentlemen. Drunks will come back around the echo. Duds will get the one tap on sexy cake, and unfortunate to clean up the Zofia. I usually will be playing on the rappel on the window or outside by the entrance of the bank. That's all taken away. That's clean shot. Look at this setup here from Intact. Prone with the ACOG in behind the desk. He's got bullet holes looking through the soft wall in front of him. And then there's the left hand, the far left hand soft wall from this orientation that's been blown open the side. It hasn't been reinforced. So more aggression towards the top of the square stairs. And that's where Sexy Cake had died mm -hmm. on that north window of the main lobby rappel. It's a pretty common rappel. Um, and it actually oftentimes will do quite a bit of work. A lot of teams that run operators like a Dokebi will find will find themselves in that position as well. So Dokebi gets played more in a support role um, compared to other ops in a situation like this, on a map like this. But with the fact that you have no mute, no bandit, none of that, well, you can't do anything against the Thermite that's going to open up the walls. And actually, the second wall is only half reinforced, and I and I really want to know why. Ness is going to grab a kill onto Duds while we continue to ponder the setup from INTZ, but unless we equalize, and there goes your dock, so health advantage not, uh, not leaning one way or another, and it won't be on the side of INTZ as far as health utility. Apollo repelling upside down these windows will run into a castle barricade, but intact. Caught out of position right beside that windowsill, and now it's a man advantage for Liquid. Plant going down from Zig, but it looks like it's just a bait for the Nitro Cell as Boris down below on the pulse. PSK will hunt, but not win it out. Giving chase now is Nesk, and oh, a potato fest back and forth, but it's Nesk winning it out. Pushing into the objective now as Yuke has been down, it's Drunks alone in a 1v3 as he's unable really to rescue his fallen comrade. Sounds like he's got pressure in from behind him as well as Nesk might be retreating in. Frag grenade comes raining out, and so will Flashbang. Zig now getting the plant down as the pings come out in mass. Coming up the spiral stairs now, hopping on the yokai at, oh, just the millisecond necessary, but it'll reveal the position. The collection onto the down kill, but Nesk unable to hit the shot onto Yuke into the banana hallway. He'll clean up the kill onto Nesk, but now there goes the plant coming down in behind the bomb. He's able to down him off and finish Zig. It's all Paulo alone now, out on the north repel. 
as a three armor. Drunks would have to go for the jump right about now to make it back in time. Yeah, he's maneuvering an Echo Drone. This should be an easy win for Paula out on the windows. All he has to do is play it safe, wait for his teammates to provide the calls. He even saw the Repel line as Drunks will turn the corner into the Diffuser. The drone has been shot, so lack of intel on the Diffuser. Ping's still coming out though, so they've got another one on. Drunks will hop back as he keeps switching on and off, but he's not going to be intimidated off of this. He's still sticking it. Paula, you have to have purview on the Diffuser, and Drunks! A 1v3 for the ages as a myriad of misplays on the side of Team Liquid will cost them a round and cost them the lead. We go back and forth on bank into the last round of the first half, and INTZ will be leading. They've guaranteed themselves at least an even split at the half. How does this keep happening to Liquid? You know how many times they fake plant, plant it in that round? No. Five to six times. And one thing I want to say, and this is something I, I saw and heard from then Market now Navi and other teams that played against Liquid, especially teams that aren't used to Latin America and don't play in the region. They're like, this is a thing with Latam and with Liquid specifically. Fake planting like 17 times is just something normal you do. And a lot of teams playing against Latam teams and specifically Liquid, if they're from NA or EU or APAC, will just plant because that's not what they do in Latam. And and some people might be hearing this and are like, that's ridiculous, that's preposterous, Milosh. What do you know? I mean, when a few teams tell me the same thing in competition and on LAN, maybe I should be believing. I mean, we saw it multiple times at SI. Yep. Liquid losing rounds just because they didn't have the intel. They were playing off of sound cues. And like you said, they're expecting a bait. They're expecting a face. That's bait. what always <laughs> happens in that time. Look at it. Well, back to staff room and open area will be INTZ on their final defensive round. And they're not electing to bring the castle this time. I'm going to bring out the, the vigil for Boar. We've also got a bandit now for Duds. Install out the walls from being opened inside of cafeteria. So it's a uh, a nearly similar lineup for Liquid, although they've dropped the jackal in favor of the IQ, and this time around it will work as Trunks' is I or Trunks' is echo play last round will be enough to force Paula full time onto the IQ, and it works out as there's no six pick this time. Drone is mm. ready to go. Having the bandits gonna be uh, a decent aid in this one. Obviously, as you mentioned. Oh, there we go. This is this is the camera that was used before by the IQ, and that's one way of doing it. There goes that nitro cell. There goes that C4 trap that Yuke has been laying for a lot of these Team Liquid members. So a good start to the round here for Liquid, and I imagine they'll try and replicate the success from last time. Oh, Looks like he's looking. He's, he's looking for the cameras. This is so good. Liquid have learned their lesson, at least in this very specific play. Does does not have nitro cells. Bring the barbed wire. Relying on Yuk in that situation. Not there. Boar, bulletproof camera. No way to use impacts in Paulo. He'll get taken away, but Nesk again. He's running SMG 11 only today. Good work from him so far tonight. And honestly, a drop down now from Drunks is necessitated. He's going to have to go for a server stairs flank. You've got intact trying to impact trick the top of his hatch inside of the janitor closet. But instead, Zig will elect to open up the Open area hatches specifically, one in stock hallway and one inside of stock itself. So now you still stand at a man disadvantage. The yokai will return to a safe purview to watch for any plant attempts coming out. And still relay a lot of information necessary. And considering Paula is down, you don't have the ability to spot it before it detonates a yokai charge. So mm -hmm. This is still a decent spot, but there's a lot of visibility into the objective right now for Liquid. All the hatches that are necessary have been opened up. You've still got your uh, tellers and archives rotates that are still open for members on Team Liquid to use, and Drunks is going to try and stay downstairs with both his yokais still up. Now I'm taking a lot of damage is intact inside a kitchen. Yeah, it's not a great spot to be in, but the bandit will rotate in. You see the entirety of the wall coming in from Archives is soft with the rotation hole. This is a very standard way of doing things, especially if Boar is going to be running around on the Vigil trying to do some work. The Fuser is going to get set, but Sexy Cake and Nesk will find a kill. Each Drunks is going to slow things down for just a bit, but he's downstairs in the basement. And I, the Yokai can see you, Zig. There you go. And again, there's nothing left, and the Diffuser is going to get set. 
PSK will find the final kill, and Drunk's taken off. Liquid secure the round and make it a 50-50 split at the half. Are you okay, Rob? Uh, it, it honestly looked like Drunk's going to clutch that out again. Um, unfortunately, we don't have exact information on how many yokais were still up, and I imagine that the Probably reason Drunk's got off of that specific yokai is because it was most likely going to get shot as soon as he used a yokai blast on uh, on Zig on the first plant. I don't know if his second one still remained, though. There was a lot of explosions and errant shots flying out through the objective, so it looked like maybe if he had uh, a little a little less time on the clock, he could have clutched that out with some yokai drone stalling out the plants, but a 1v4 that didn't really materialize into anything. And Drunks will six pick off of the Glaz onto the Jackal. This was another thing that we saw quite a lot of from INTZ in their game against Pain a couple weeks ago on Bank. Bringing a lot of Jackal, no one really playing the Glaz, no one really having any luck with the Glaz. I think they brought Glaz one round, and it, similar to our first game of the evening on Coastline, the Glaz lasted about 30 seconds. But we head downstairs now for the defense. We swap sides, Liquid head to the defense, and they're, uh, Ah, it's a much closer game than we've had all evening. It's a yeah. much closer game than we even it's anticipated. It's more rounds than the under uh, the underdog team has collected in the past two games combined. Yeah. That's an interesting stat to you. And and I don't know who who tweeted this the the stat, but thank you Splek or whoever for adding me because of course. That was after my question. And I really like the fact that I was given the credit for it. But 83% of the time, when a uh, defense, the, the team on defense gets an opening kill within the first 15 seconds, they end up winning. Wow. So the stat does exist. It does exist. They yes. are tracking that. It's just they're not saying, hey, I'm not in Taro, so I don't get the same level of clout. No. There you go. We're. We're waiting. I, we, we're not sure if it's a, if it's a rehost or a feed something or. Yeah. Yeah, feed on our end. Still spinning. Still spinning. Uh, don't really know what's uh, what's going to happen with uh, with this. I imagine the round will play out because this doesn't impact uh, the round at all. But. Oh. Uh. Oh. Well, okay. We're going to need a few seconds to like work things out on the back end, but uh, for the meantime, we stand at a 3-3 between the two teams. Um, okay, yeah. so the internet appears to have uh, gone offline for our, our clean feed for uh, Latin America, so we're waiting. Yeah, we should be back in a bit. So, But that said, the round is not off uh, for either observer or for the players. So that will continue to run. Yeah. So when we get back, we should we should just know what happened, at least have a score line. But I don't know. It, yeah, I think it's going to be a rehost. I mean, the observer is out. I don't know if the game continues. Well, if the observer lost internet, then he would have kicked out of the game. Yeah, but he k k gets kicked out of it, not the others, right? So they can yeah. players just stay and play. Yeah. Um, so we'll probably get a rehost the instant they finish the game. Yeah, we actually have no clue what's going on, so. We should be able to reconnect. Mm hmm. So I don't know why we're not doing that. But oh well. What do you know? We're only caster. Okay. So they tried to reconnect. We got to do a rehost after that round. So, yeah, let's talk about that open area point. Yeah, that was another situation where they were banking on grabbing Zig again as a pick. But, like I said, there was just too many holes opened up into the objective. There was no real safe area other than way deep back in kitchen to play. And even then, you got to be wary of a flank coming through like your square stairs hallway, uh, through the kitchen hallway, because there was no castle anymore. They, INTZ had elected to remove the castle from play on their Which setup. It's weird. You don't play that without a castle. They didn't have any protection on their back. They were getting shot at from above. Their hatches opened up all around them. They have their Teller's Archives uh, rotation set as well. So the soft walls all around them, there wasn't really a lot of positioning left to be had inside the objective. And I imagine that's why Drunks dropped downstairs, just because if he's going to be yeah. sitting on drones the whole time, he's a sitting duck. I mean, the rest of the team kind of just all dove into the um, open area office. Yeah. They're like, 
If you're all going to be cornered there with your Echo downstairs in the basement, I believe the correct medical term is boned. It's pretty accurate. No. So, unfortunate, but we soldier on. We are still awaiting our rehost to be done, and then we can walk back into the game as Nesk has been really walking into his opponents with that SMG 11. Yeah, Nesk has been having a, a pretty good game. I think he was 11 and 4, 11 and 3, 11 and 4 when we saw the scoreboard for, uh, before our observer crashed. Yeah, well, we're resetting everything as we speak, just making sure that uh, because the new playlist slash rehost info where you can just add in exactly what happened every yeah. round, etc. is great. It was the first round of the second half. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you put for the first half. No. Uh, but still, it's there. I imagine we'll be doing rehost with, uh, with same ops and same site anyway. Yes, and... As we say that, we're actually going to go for a few minutes of break, and then when, 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 when we come back, we should be ready to go. So hopefully all we good by then. Our closest game of the evening so far, Liquid vs. INTZEN, will resume in just a few.
Stylish on the outside. Savage on the inside. Legion by Lenovo. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I believe we are set to go. So in just a few seconds, we'll be entering the game and making sure that everything is set on the spectator end and we'll head into it. Again, if you're away, Rob, can you shed a bit of a light on our matchup? Uh, it's Liquid with some poor time management when attacking the basement. Basement, however, is a uh, rather defender-sided site. Sure. Uh, the other sites for INTZ have not fared so well, and we are jumping back. Uh, into bank in just a moment. Uh, but it's a 4-3 scoreline, apparently, yeah. for INTZ. Apparently they won that round that we disconnected from. So Liquid losing now. That's that's the thing that it really kind of drives me up the wall right now, because, like, Liquid, you played so well this whole season. This is not the way that you should be falling. No. A loss here for Liquid is not a guarantee that they won't make it to land. But man, when you have Immortals and FaZe playing the way they are, this is going to be a repeat of Rio. And I'm really afraid that it's going to be that. Well, we've got you changing over to the Ying from the Glass. We've got Paula switching over from the Echo to the Legion. It's an interesting swap up there, as it looks like it'll be yeah. Liquid reattempting to defend the basement as they were unsuccessful somehow last round we don't actually know how that happened uh because we didn't get to see it but every other round we will have uh have visibility on hopefully yeah i think it's important um and then correct me if i'm wrong to see what happens in the round uh kind of if we want to do our jobs yeah yeah it's a give and take With that said liquid on the setup again they'll bring the smoke they'll bring the Legion, the Valkyrie, the Maestro, and the Jaeger on the other side. The big deal that you just said, Yoga on the Ying. Hmm. My big thing for this is why no pulse if you're going to run this? Well, the, the rebuttal from Liquid would be, yeah, but we want Zig to play the Maestro. And he is a pretty excellent Maestro, and Echo, and Pulse. That's for sure. The three anchor operators run very well with a player like Zig. And actually, Liquid opting to put a bit more manpower on open area first before diving back down. So a bit of a peel-off defense. Inside. Same kind of strategy here that INTZ were bringing on their server defense, which was hold the server stairs at all costs. Reinforce the server hatch. And looks like Paula is roaming way more than we saw INTZ did. Uh, on their defensive sets downstairs. So he's currently over an open area and he has a hatch open inside of the small office to drop through. They also left the other hatch soft. The big advantage of having both the Habana and the Thermite. All the hatches are easy to clear and they have their extra redundancy of the operators. Got drunks pinging out Paula. I imagine how it should be Paula as he's the only one who's pushed upstairs into Open area, triggering your leisure mind now and his ingress, but Duds will take down Nesk, and there goes one of your most proficient fraggers in Ladam. Jackal pings are actually downstairs on someone other side. than Paula, so his presence upstairs on the main floor is still unknown to INTZ. Got a default camera up spotting drunks, and he's completely ignoring it as intacts though will claim another body and Paula pushing down the main stairs and just spotting the leg for a second with Zig, and as he crosses it's actually Zig taking damage and Drunks escaping any contact with those bullets. Big loss here. The two roamers away puts a lot of pressure on the last three operators. And you know, the smoke is going to retain the same position by the blue stairs we saw before. But for how long? And will it have the same effect 
that it had on Liquid when they were on the attack side. Is it holding off on the stairs? Sexy Cake will find a close position here to hit by the broom. But so far, no push from INTZ. They just burn everything away. The 50 second mark. Candelas are abundant, ready to use. They have the ping on the smoke downstairs, but will this force the smoke of Sexy Cake away? Drunks is waiting for him, and he has nobody next to him to help him out in this situation. The ADSs have been cleared. Sexy Kick is looking for the peak. Oh no, there's two operators there. One will drop and a quick shot from Sexy Cake. Unfortunately there, missed time from Drunks. 20 seconds on the clock, PSK will find another. Is this how it all ends in the return? Sexy Cake comes back up, but he's taken a bit of damage from Dutz. The fuse are still in the hands of board. No one's dropped just yet. This is getting way too close for comfort and the time they'll have to drop. Candelas are being thrown up. PSK is just blindly blinded but just a bit, but the diffuser's on the floor. Not enough time, and that'll be all she wrote. This defensive team, Liquid, will take the round and tie it back up off of pure time. It was all there for INTZ, but as we saw with their comrades in the last two matches, you don't really do anything with the time that you have, and it all gets wasted. That's concerning for INTZ watching that round unfold as you start off brilliantly, you get a very early pick onto Nesk from the main lobby, and then you parlay that into taking down Paula out of open area as well. You have a two-man advantage, and really it was it was Sexy Cake alone inside of the server stairs on that smoke. But again, we see fantastic individual efforts from smokes playing inside of the server stairwell. And it looks like Liquid will now turn their attentions towards the top floor as they bring not only a Maestro, but an Echo as well. So a lot of plant denial opportunity here for Liquid. You've also got Ness playing his, uh, I guess his signature operator, the Valkyrie. Had a lot of fun with the, the SMG-11 early on in this matchup, but now on the defensive side, I imagine this is where we'll see Ness kind of flex his muscles a little bit. Didn't really get much ground last time or last round we just saw. But we're also deadlocked now at a 4-4. We keep going back and forth between Liquid and INTZ. No one able to establish a two-round lead in this game. This bears well for INTZ when they're in a situation where they are about to be in a relegation spot should the standings end today. And like I said, if you're INTZ and you come away with just one point in this matchup, not only does that stall out Liquid's chances of making it to Milan, it greatly benefits your chances of getting out of that seven seed and possibly Red Devils filling in for you in a relegation match against the number two team coming out of Latin American Challenger League. Nesk still on the lookout on the outside. I just had just taken a bit of damage early. It's not really the end of the world, but it is going to keep them on their feet for the rest of the round. This is a pretty exposed black eye. It should get uh, pretty easily taken away, but Nesk is close here to get up and find something off of it. It doesn't really seem that there's much of a presence from INTZ, and I'm thinking this because they want to assault from the other side of the map, but no, Nesk is just going to look on in, has information, drone will come out, and a second player as well. So this is the time for Nesk to really come in. He'll find two, no, no, not even two. He'll down one in the back, and Intact will come in, go for the spray of the air 33, and finally clean off Nesk, and we'll be able to pick up the Zofia, but oh man, that is so much damage. The Ying taken away, and a ton of HP off of Dozen intact. A great trade-off for Liquid early on. You sacrificed one Nitro Cell and the worst defender gun on your side for removing Yuke, some of the best utility that INT said have at their disposal. Okay, is so gonna lose one lifeline, but Duds is even lower now. Down to 10 HP for Duds intact, slightly above 25. It's a beautiful play there from Nesk, a valiant effort, and a worthy sacrifice as well. The Thermite Charge will still get off from Boar, though, on the left-hand side of the wall relative to the square skylight. And you still got Sexy Cake in behind. I imagine he attempted impact trick, just was unsuccessful as he still has one impact in the back pocket awaiting his, uh, awaiting his second exothermic charge of Boar to end up on the wall right beside him. Impact trick, and it will not connect. Thermite's is going to be able to open up the side here and the Habana working things on from the training office into the hallway. And just to open up the side of the wall to the meeting room. 
Zig is going to put himself in a better position to try and potentially play against her. Still expecting a player to come in from Spiral in the main lobby. Nobody's in just yet. And there we go. They'll check through the cameras and make sure that nobody's actually onto that. Boar will find the kill on Sexy Cake, though, in the meantime. Eliminate the castle. We're pretty much free. And now it's disadvantage for Team Liquid in the round of 4v3. Zig will push back and put himself in the elevator, a position you should drone ASAP if you're an attacker. And Dud's just going to try to lock him down. No information used. The Yokai drone, just not really able to give you any spots from all the way back then. 10 seconds left with only Paulo available. He has to turn it off. And no, at the last millisecond, the fuser is going to get set. And it's Paulo on his own. A fire from one drunks. Habana will go down, Boar with a refrag on Paulo and end the round. INTZ again just keeping the fight. Another victorious round for INTZ and they're one round away. How does that happen? From clinching a point. Um, that scenario there, that's really... That's Duds getting out on the exterior window and taking down Zig. But how, how did this turn from... We downed one, one other guy is so low on HP and we killed one of them to we just lost the round to that advantage in a position where even an evil eye could have done more work than most ops for that one for me it's uh it's sexy cake still playing pretty aggressive and behind that ceo desk after both of the exothermic charges were detonated um like you said they were both really low is the ump the greatest gun in the world no will it do enough damage in a very short period of time to down off those extremely low hp members probably so sexy cake throwing his life away there and then again zig inside that elevator getting cordoned off by duds uh, that was just a good heads up play from him with 20 seconds left you're never really going to expect someone repelled out on those uh, front lobby windows so a good reaction there from intz to salvage a round that looked absolutely lost like you said but liquid that one comes down to gunfights as well and if nest put you guys in the most beautiful position you could have been in terms of gunfights Timing as well for that yokai blast. That's got to be faster on the side of the echo. Camera activated. The world is continue. I anti that being able to bring it back the way they did in the previous round is just insane. Mm -hmm. There's no way that that should have happened. And now w with this open area set up, Liquid choose to play the top floor instead of the the spread the butter strategy that a lot of teams have been adopting to very good success actually on the site i wonder how this comes down intz have looked pretty effective and having the ying is not only great for your site pushes but they're also great at clearing out um just anybody in ceo especially when they when you know their position easily blinding your opponents with the candelas you clear it out, you get two players off of this, suddenly INTZ are at the helm very early on in the round. And there's a drone that just spot Apollo. They know exactly where they are. Precarious circumstances there for droning for Yuke outside of that square balcony and drunks will take down Apollo. Like you said, the information relayed to the rest of the team and pings come out. Shots rattle off against the wall, but just narrowly miss. Nesk as he'll continue to retreat further and further into these offices upstairs and drunks again through his own kill hole decapitates two members of liquid two with possibility of nitrocell and now sexy cake upstairs trying to contest but he'll have to fall back it's looking worse and worse dire straits here for team liquid at the midway point of round number 10. there needs to be a victory liquid need as many points as possible to stay in the running a tie is one thing, a loss is a huge loss in this case. The race just getting so tight at the end of this season. Bora looking to the side of the staff room, will not find anybody just yet by the reinforced angle. The window will drop in. So many drones that are now on the site. Holding on to the diffuser, but he's waiting for his teammates. EMP should get thrown out as Duds is going to watch for rotations and plays by the hatch. Sexy Cake still in the lobby. We'll try to play the top floor through the rotation. You hear the Candela's going off. The push has to happen here. Intact will find a kill. A second Candela in. That's slowing down the castle. It's just a bit more. Zig to spray in the back, but that's the wrong spot as the diffuser is set. And Drunks with an insta tap to take away Zig. Sexy Cake last alive. No impact grenades, no nothing. 
but the UMP and five players that have taken zero ticks of damage. And finally, we'll find one kill on Duds. Will it be enough? Not much time left. And taken away, Yuck. Be the one to clean things up. INTZ guarantee themselves one point at the end of the day. That kill hole doing so much work. Three bodies of liquid all fall to the same kill hole on that wall facing the stock hallway. Oh boy, Team Liquid surrender the win possibility. They still have to win back-to-back -back rounds here just to salvage the game and get a point out of this. And if you're INTZ, you're running to the bank right now. You don't care if it's one or three yep. points. Anything. You're working away at getting out of that relegation spot. And if you're Red Devils watching this, you're pretty upset, honestly. We said heading in, this was looking like it should have been a Team Liquid victory. That will not be the case, guaranteed. Could still be a draw here for Liquid as they try to bounce back and they'll head downstairs, try and salvage what is left of this game and what's left of them in terms of points in the standings to be guarded. This does not look good for the land run when this, again, based on the standings and based on the caliber of play from INTZ and in recent history, it's a big upset here for INTZ. Mm -hmm. Already so much work being done by the team. Very excited to see what they actually bring. I mean, here, it's, it's not like this is gonna put INTZ too far ahead, but getting these three points with Red Devils having lost will put them at the sixth spot, which will save them from relegation, which is exactly what they're looking for. I mean, we're expecting our final game of the day here between NIP and Black Dragons to be the heavy hitter, but this is kind of a mix of, of hot and cold. This is a bit of a... Uh, has disappointing elements with the way that Liquid have been playing, but the, just the joy of seeing INTZ run circles around them a few rounds. Well, that's an interesting setup there. You've got Zig playing the Supernova on the Echo. Not something you see every day. And Sexy Cake, of course, will be playing the Clash at the top of the server stairs, a focal point of the entire evening. And Nesk will get droned out and immediately dropped. He's not going to try and stand and fight whatsoever after the last couple rounds where he's been... Honestly, he's been ripped apart very, very early on in rounds. Back-to-back -back rounds, Nesk hasn't made it outside the first minute. Nope. Been shut down every single time. Even on his sing uh, signature operator, the Valkyrie. Oh, there you go. Drunks is in. Takes down the default cam. Pre-firing down at the stairs. Drone ready. And then continues to drone. Rest of the team is right up behind him. And ITZ is intact. Is going to start off opening up the hatches with his Xkairos. Having bore as well with the Thermite. There you go. It's a good thing we're actually using the English audio for Habana and not the Portuguese one. Because the Portuguese, she doesn't say knock knock. She says tok tok in this like very heavy accent. I don't know why. But there you go. Today I learned. Is this going to be a... No. It looks like it. No. No, 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 no. Don't... It's They're just stacking for it. You need the rotation into Garage. Without a player in Garage. No! Zig gives himself away for free! Duds with the kill. Oh, yeah. They're going for it. INTZ looking to drop in the back. The smoke's rain out. A beautiful shot from Nesk will drop intact. More shots rain into that elevator. His sexy kick has to make a return down the elevator hallway. The diffuser has been surrendered inside the elevator. That has to be a send for INTZ. Nesk will fall. It's Bora Nuke tacking on for two now. It's sexy kick with a shield and PSK, the last real gunner left alive. Trying to turn the corner is Bora trying to plant it and he'll surrender the diffuser inside of sight, but sexy kick is down. It's all on the hopes of PSK to try and win this out in a 1v3. There's so much time for the attackers remaining. So they all circle around him. The pings rain out. Ooh, beautiful shot to the wall, going for two, but no. Unable to hit the critical lethal shot, and Duds will close it out. Liquid surrender bank to INTZ, seven to four. INTZ with probably the upset of the week right there. No question about it. Um, we talked about Red Devils upsetting Liquid a few weeks back on Villa. This is, this is even even more ridiculous to look at it. Liquid losing Banks 7-4 to INTZ. Man, 